Emotional guidance scale. I don't know if you guys saw on my status that I posted um, earlier today um, about the emotional guidance scale. Um, and it is um, a way of like that I choose to live so that I can stay a high vibe person. Because I know you guys hear people talking about um, living high vibes and high vibrations and things like that and I just came on here to talk to you guys a little bit about how you can live good morning um hate me business um so I came on here to talk to y'all for a little while about um raising your vibrations and how you could do that and how you can live in a state of um raised vibrations so um before I do that, I just want to give a shout out to one of my boos, Miss um, Kay Giles. Uh, God's Morning with Kay. She got me hype. Her lives always get me so hype. I'll be like, yes, yes, yes. I'll be screaming at the screen the whole entire time. So, hey, y'all. Good morning. Come on in here. So, we talking about high vibes today. We talking about high vibes versus low vibes and how to live a high vibrational life versus a low vibrational life, right? So, um, your vibrations are the, um, basically like the energies that you give off. Hey, good morning. Um, basically the energy that you give off, right? Um, due to your emotions, because emotions are energy and motion, right? So, um, on the chart that I posted on my status, it talks about, um, the emotional guidance scale, right? So you can vibe on the high end. Hey, good morning, y'all. You can vibe on the high end or you can vibe on the low end, right? And there are certain emotions that are associated with being high vibrational. And there are, hey, hey, hey. And there are certain emotions that um, go along with being low vibrational, right? So we don't want to be low vibrational. We want to live a high vibrational life because... That is the most fulfilling life, that is the most abundant life, and that is a life that is going to have us living in, like, peace and joy and happiness, right? But we may not all know how to kind of, like, get into our high vibe. So guess what? I'm here to tell y'all, right? So, emotions are just energy and motion, right? So, high vibe emotions and i'm gonna read this because i don't want to miss any of them but high vibe emotions are things like um living in your passion um it's things like being enthusiastic um passionate what else um positive like having positive belief and positive expectations hey everybody good morning good morning we talking about high vibes versus low vibes and how to live a high vibrational life versus a low vibrational life so me personally i was one of those people um through my spiritual awakening i realized i am one of those people who was sent here or chose to be here hey chanel hey the, the nay nay why is on the she is going to get me for this. That's my niecey poo. Hi, boo. So, um, I am one of those special people that were sent here to um, help raise the Earth's vibration because the Earth is a very low vibrational planet. Um, and some of us were sent here to be a light and to um, lift the Earth's vibration. So, a lot of us are not sleeping, right? We're up. Um, and we're normally up between the hours of 3 and 5, right? So if you're up between the hours of 3 and 5, you are probably one of those special chosen people. You probably didn't know why you were suffering from insomnia and why you were up and woke. And it is because God is trying to talk to you. God, the universe, source, um, however it is that you want to refer to him, he is trying to communicate with you. A lot of us are very gifted. We are dancers. We are musicians. Good morning. We are artists. We are creatives. We are influencers. And guess what, guys? We were sent here for a purpose. And that purpose is to help the earth raise its vibrations 
through the utilization of our gifts, right? So, um, a spiritual awakening is basically, somebody put on my uh, status something about being a, a, a Bible thumper or something like that. But spiritually awakening has less to do with the Bible. Hey, good morning. Less to do with the Bible and more to do with you connecting with um, your source or God or um, opening your consciousness because you have more of an awareness of who it is that you are and why it is that you were sent to be here. So some of us are a little bit rebellious against like traditional um, religion and the constraints of traditional um, religion because God has we've had a God encounter. Right. So we've had an encounter with God. And therefore, he has, um, he's told us some things, he showed us some things, he's opened our, our minds or our consciousness to a higher level, right? Um, he's opened us up to um, our purpose and why it is that we're here. And what I love about God so very much is that the things that are in us, like the gifts that are innately in us, are the reasons why um, we are here. So, what is our job? Our job is to fulfill your purpose by utilizing your gifts, right? That's not hard to do, right? So utilizing your gift in a positive way. So for my singers, songwriters, um, you are here to create high vibrational music, right? You are here to create music that makes people feel good. You are here to create... Um, Music that makes people feel inspired and makes people um, happy and makes people want to, that makes people feel good, right? Why is it important for people to feel good? Because if people feel good, then there's going to be less killing in the world, it's going to be less black on black crime, and it's just going to be less negativity in the world, right? So we are world changers, like we are like key players in this thing so i'm really encouraging you guys today um to step out and just start working in your gift like don't be scared um i was asking god like what do you want me to talk to them about and i just keep hearing that i need to tell you guys to be courageous right be courageous just close your eyes i was talking to my girlfriend who's on here now chanel and my sissy boo and we were just talking about like just being courageous and not caring who's there to back you, not caring about who wasn't there before. Like, it is the time of the misfits, right? And we are here to be our creative selves. And that's, I, I can't even say it enough. That's what I love about God so much because living for God does not have to be hard. He required us to do certain things. But the thing is, it's already innately in us. We just need to stop being scared. Stop being scared and step out and do those things that are already in you. Like, what are you dreaming about? What are you writing about? What are you, what like, what is constantly on your mind? Like, what, what drives you? Like, what makes you happy? Do those things. Because nine times out of things, nine times out of ten, those things are going to be positive. If you're spiritually awakened. If you're not spiritually awakened, then you're still very much in your ego. And in our ego, TG! Good morning! That's one of my besties. Um, so we are here to focus on what it is that God put in us, right? And to cultivate our gifts. So what's so hard about that? Probably the hardest thing about that is just stepping out and being courageous and stepping out and being obedient. What keeps us from stepping out and being courageous? Thinking about who didn't support us before. Thinking about um, the pain of... Um, rejection right because i thought because what i realized is with going within and asking myself why i was stuck and why i did things to self-sabotage and i realized that it's i had a fear of failure right so that fear of failure that lack of support um not feeling as though i had people who were going to support me right and the most hurtful thing is whenever you realize that your family doesn't support you, right? The people that are closest to you don't support you, right? And they say that they support you, but actions speak louder than words, right? So whenever you're doing stuff and they want to ignore you or you're excited and you want to talk about what you're doing and they don't want to really listen, 
how much is that really supporting you? It's not, right? And a lot of times that keeps us stuck and it keeps us from moving forward because we're thinking about all the things in the past and then like the 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 trauma of like past hurts. Me and my girlfriend Chanel was talking about this the other day. Like the trauma of those who didn't support us or when we were stepping out and we were doing what it is that we were called to do and we were shunned, right? That is some painful stuff. But once we get past that, and we start getting into what it is that we are really created to do. And we just like close our eyes and just jump off the just jump off the cliff, right? That is when God really starts to bless us. We become more abundant. Um, we um we become more financially secure because God is gonna bless anything that you put your hands to, right? If you're doing what it is that he called you to do, he is going to bless it. So don't even worry about who's there and who's not because he's gonna send the people that you need to get the job done. And your your circle is not gonna be huge. It's probably gonna be small. So you have to be appreciative of the people that he sends to help you and realize that that group may be a small group, but the blessing is in knowing that there are other like-minded people out here that are trying to do creative things and who knows what it feels like to be rejected, who knows what it feels like to go through the trauma of um, church hurt, any type of hurt um, that they experience in religion, any type of hurt that you experience from your childhood, um, things of that nature, right? So I just want to encourage those creatives, all of y'all that's up, can't sleep. It's because God is trying to talk to y'all. The universe is trying to talk to y'all. Source, however it is that you want to refer to him. I know I have some Muslims on my friends list now. So Allah, um, you know, just your higher power. Like he, he is awakening us, right? So with becoming more spiritually awakened, we become more conscious, right? Now, there is no way to become more conscious without, mm, yeah, there's no way to become more conscious and miss God, right? There's no way. There's no way to spiritually awaken and miss God because it's a God thing. And guess what? It's so freaking personal that typically it does not happen in the four walls of the church or any set structure of religion, right? It comes from getting in God's face or God getting in your face and and showing you who you are right I feel like there's no way to have true true self-love everybody talks about self-love and it's like a cliche it's kind of cliche-ish um but there's no way to have true self-love and miss God because I feel like the only way to truly love yourself is to see yourself through God's eyes right so he has to show you who you are. He has to confirm to you who you are. And then from there, you step into a greater level of awakeness or a greater level of consciousness. Because now you realize, no, I'm here for a purpose. No, I'm here to be a light. No, I'm here to be a healer. No, I'm here to teach people. No, I'm here to tell people stuff. I'm here to be a light in the dark, right? So with that being the case, we tend to start to vibrate at a higher frequency. How do you know I vibe people? People that have a light. Like people that when you talk to them, you just feel better. People that have the ability to heal you whenever you are having a conversation with them. So ways that we stay high vibe is to manage our emotions, right? And emotions are good. And emotions are true. And you're, hey, y'all, good morning. Thanks for coming in here to hang out with me for a second. But, um, yeah, so the way to stay in a high vibe life is to manage your emotions. And the way that we manage our emotions, and we'll get a little, I can get a little bit deeper into that about, like, reprogramming your thinking and reprogramming your mind and things like that. Because our emotions are going to come up. And they are valid. But then at times you have to go deeper into those emotions and figure out like, okay, so what is fueling this? Like what is fueling, good morning, Apostle. What is fueling um, how it is that I feel? Like what what is the story that I'm telling myself in my head, right? 
the reason why I'm feeling the way that it is that I'm feeling. So your emotions are valid. But the stories that you tell yourself in your head, now those may not be so valid, right? Because those stories come from past situations, um, past hurts, and sometimes those past things are not in our present anymore. But the emotions still come up so we have to manage our emotions right and we can get a little bit deeper into that at a later date but right now i just want to talk about the emotions that you want to harness in order for you to stay a high vibrational person right why do we want to be a high vibrational person because high vibrational people are a light high vibrational people are a light in the dark right and it doesn't you're like god is not putting us in a box he's just telling us to utilize our gifts right so if you're a dancer you're going to choreograph and you're going to create things that like when people watch it they are excited and they feel good and we want people to feel good because we want people to stop killing each other and we want people to stop um doing bad things to each other we want people to stop being negative right we want people to stop being toxic right right so Ways to stay high vibrational. Um, the meme is on my status. And there is a upward spiral and there's a downward spiral. So your upward spiral emotions are contentment. It starts with being content, right? It starts with being comfortable with where you are in life and surrender. And just going with the flow and realizing that, hey, this is where I am and I'm happy and I'm at peace. Right? That's contentment. Um, hopefulness, we know what that is. Optimism, right? Always, always expecting, always expecting good. Always expecting the best. Always expecting something good to happen. Now, that may be hard to do because we've been programmed from our past, because we've been through so much negative stuff. We've been programmed from our past to just assume the worst or think the worst or to just be negative but i'm going to encourage you guys that we want to live in a state of contentment like where it is that i am i am content here right if not i'm gonna make the changes so i can be content right then we want to be optimistic so that means we always are expecting the best like no matter what we're expecting good to happen we're not thinking about the negative we're just always expecting something positive to happen when we go into situations no matter how big or small whether we're calling customer service calling a bank to discuss our account or whether it's a job that we're going for or a test that we want to take we want to be optimistic we want to be positive we want to talk to ourselves in a positive way we don't want to have self-defeating conversations in our head right because that keeps us negative right so then we also want to be enthusiastic right so that's excited right and we want to be passionate so seek out things that help you to be passionate if you're in situations that you can't be passionate about it if you can't be excited about it then you need to shift right and then um most of all the very very tip top is knowledge and empowerment so we should be living in a time where we're not spending so much time scrolling on social media scrolling on instagram scrolling on facebook looking at everybody else's life and what they have going on but instead you should be studying you should be getting knowledge you should be learning stuff right because knowledge is power um and empowerment and also joy right so if you're living in joy passion enthusiasm positive expectations optimism hopefulness and contentment you're on the upward spiral your vibrations are high the downward spiral is boredom so it starts with boredom so if you are bored in your life then you need to make some changes you need to do some things that are going to make you happy and excited whether it's starting a new career starting a new project traveling more spending more time with your friends getting out of that relationship that's not serving you but it's just mundane and you're just going through the motions we should not be doing anything in life where we're just going through the motions the mundane emotions right because that's boredom boredom is where the downward spiral starts so if you're bored in your life mm, you're on the downward spiral right so also things that are there is pessimism right so pessimism is the, op the opposite of being optimistic disappointment lives there doubt lives there worry blame discouragement anger revenge 
hatred, rage, jealousy, insecurity, guilt, unworthiness. And then at the very, very bottom is fear, grief, depression, powerlessness, and victimhood, right? So all of those things are low vibrational. So I want to encourage you guys, if you are living in a constant state of boredom, depression, pessimism, um, revenge, um, hatred, like, I'm sorry to tell you, you're like, you're low vibe, right? You're like vibing in a very low vibe so you want to be mindful of those things you want to be mindful that when you operate in those emotions those are low vibrational emotions and they can keep you in a state of being low vibe and low vibe is like a really toxic place to be right we want to be in a positive state of mind so i just want to encourage you guys that if you are not living in a state of optimism and hopefulness if you're not being creative if you're not out there creating um, your dreams, if you're not being um, enthusiastic about your future and things of that nature, then you're probably on the downward spiral as it relates to your frequencies and you want to do whatever it is that you need to do so that you can get on your upward spiral, right? So those are the ways to live a high vibrational life versus a low vibrational life. And when you find yourself in those low vibes, you want to do what it is that you need to do so that you can get to a better space, right? And I also want to encourage you guys to not allow your past to hold you back. Do not allow your past to be the blueprint for your future because you can change your future. And we have to learn how to see through new eyes. Hey, good morning. Hey, y'all. Um, you have to... Be prepared to see your life through new eyes, right? So that you can live your most abundant life and you can live your most high vibe life. All right, you guys. So that's all I got for y'all today. Thanks for coming in, hanging out with me. If you like what it is that I have to say, then you can share the video. If you have any questions, um, you need me, leave a comment. My inbox is out of control, crazy. So I had to... um. I had to uninstall it off my phone, unfortunately. So if you need me, you know, leave a comment on the video. Um, share the video if you like what it is that I had to say. And I will be back to see you lovely, beautiful, wonderful people tomorrow. Peace. Like I remember such a pretty face.